February 2005, short and English senior grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. Sir, I am glad that the government have expanded their activities in all departments. At the same time, they have also brought forward some taxation measures. That is why the budget has evoked in me feelings of a mixed character. As regards the activities of the government in the direction of rural welfare and in the program of rural electrification, I think the progress made so far has been very good. But the leader of the house has said while introducing the budget that we have practically gone to the end of our water resources. It is necessary for us to increase the yield from the land by the use of chemical manures and by irrigation. We should no longer depend upon our neighboring states for rice for the purpose of achieving our object in view namely intensive cultivation it is necessary that rural electrification works all over the state should be carried out fairly quickly we must try to use the subsoil water in the villages for the purpose of cultivation but for hydroelectric projects we must have regular supply of water so I hope and trust that any new regular water supply sources will be fully tapped. I do hope that the government will take into consideration what I have said and do whatever is necessary. I have no doubt that education is one department in which the government have made great advance. In this connection, I would like to know whether we are getting a good return for the amount that we are spending on university education. The university is turning out graduates every year, but we find that most of them are unemployed. I think it is a very serious problem if we turn out more and more graduates from our universities and they do not get employment, we will be creating a dangerous situation. I would like to see that as a matter of policy, all persons who get into our colleges are persons who will be useful to our state at the end of their college course. As regards the administration of justice, I want to say a few words. I feel that there is no necessity at all for more money being collected from the litigants at the present moment. It is not just and fair to take up the question of revision of the court fee now. I appeal to the government that the revision may be postponed for the time being. There is one point on which the budget is silent and it is the question of solving the problem of unemployment among the people. Of course, it is pointed out here that it is a serious problem. I know that the central government give some money for tackling this problem. They have suggested the opening of single teacher schools all over the state. But I do not know whether it will help solve the problem even a little. So far as unemployment is concerned, the problem is still there and it has got to be tackled. I may point out that the educated unemployed should not be driven to a state of despair. So, I am making this appeal to the government that the question of unemployment should be considered seriously and some way of observing the large number of educated unemployed persons usefully should be found as soon as possible as it is the question of unemployment has not been dealt with in the budget speech and I am sure that this defect will be rectified when the Honorable Minister replies to the discussion on the budget. Letter from Hari and Company Mumbai to Mrs. 
Govindan and Company, Chennai. Dear Sirs, we wish to confirm that we have sent a telegram to you today that the goods ordered by you will be dispatched tomorrow. We regret very much the delay in sending the goods and we assure you that we have done our utmost to execute the delivery promptly. But in view of the great pressure of orders for these goods, it was not possible for us to deliver the goods promptly as desired by you. This is in spite of the fact that our people have been working over time. We are sorry to have kept you waiting as we know that you want the goods urgently. We would like to inform you that our customers have been pressing us for immediate delivery of the goods. We are the only manufacturers of these goods and our energies have been put to great strain on this account. The demand has also been very heavy and therefore we have not been able to deliver the goods on time. We hope and trust that this explanation will convince you of our best endeavors to fulfill your esteemed order as expeditiously as possible. We rely upon your leniency in the matter of the recent delay. We take this opportunity to assure you that your esteemed orders will at all times in future receive our most careful and prompt attention. Yours faithfully.